easy drive of about three and a half hours from Athens over the impressive bridge of Rio and Dirio brings you to the town in the middle of the lagoon, Mesolongi. I met with my friend Panos Tathatos and soon you realized how cool and relaxed Mesolongi is. The ideal place for bicycle lovers, peaceful and laid back people. Also called the sacred city because of the history of bravery and sacrifice in 1826 following the heroic exodus of Mesolongia. Find details about this incredible story that the whole world spoke about in the description below. The Garden of Heroes was built on the grounds of this battle to remind us the ones that gave the lives for the Greeks to live free today. Mountains of white salt piled next to the road. 65% of the Greek salt production comes from Mesolon. With a mastermind designed to fill the sea pans and allow them to dry. When there, make sure you visit the one and only salt museum in the country. I don't think there is a more romantic place in Greece than the lagoon of Mesolongi. Beautiful roads join the scattered lands.
swimmers come from all over to take advantage of the therapeutic mud that you find in some of the beaches, spectacular sunsets, fishing, long walks, boat rides. and bird watching. Fishing has been one of the biggest traits of Mesolongia. Here is where the Botarga of Gotaraho has made the lagoon famous all over the world for the quality of this Greek caviar. Special passages are built in the Klisova, in the lagoon, to drive the fish in from the sea through the gates, and this is where the natural fish farming is done. Fishermen bring out the fish with balsers, they select the fish, the ones they can sell in the fisheries, they keep the bafas, the female grey mallet, for the eggs, for the egg roll, and the rest they throw back in the sea. This is where the operation starts. Yanni slices the skin of the fish skillfully so he can remove the whole egg sac from the fish. He washes it carefully under cold water to remove all blood from the eggs. He uses the salt from the lagoon to brine the fish. Then the salt is removed and the eggs are trined for about 24 hours, giving it shape with wooden molds. He makes sure that he cleans out all the salt from the eggs. And then he dips the eggs in hot bee wax to cover and protect them from drying out completely. This process is repeated four times with a powerful fan nearby to dry it out quickly as well as to cool it down before the hot wax cooks the egg roll. This expensive delicatessen is now ready to be consumed as it is or to be used according to the chef's creativity in restaurants around the world. The Tolikon Panigiri have the ethnic roots in ancient times and are the longest lived Greek institution and played an important role in preserving our Greekness and teach our region and history to the youngest generation as well as contributed to the revolutionary struggle against the Turks. The festival of Hagia Agathi lasts almost eight days. I was here on the last day where the Armatoli, the horsemen and the musicians meet in the old station of Kefalovis with the beautiful uniforms, historic arms in the front belt horsemen on amazing horses dancing and demonstrating the talents
and musicians with Daulia and Zurma playing non-stop traditional music. The whole parade will cross over the bridge to the town of the Tolikon where they will walk through the streets welcomed by large crowds. Dancing and singing takes place in the streets of the city and continues until the early hours of the morning. I have included a link to a description about the Toliko Panigiri below. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 